Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Halloween hunting. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to the channel uh, over the last couple of weeks. We've broken 500. Whoop whoop whoop. Um, so hopefully we will get to the um, to the magic number 666 before Halloween, which is what I'm going for. Um, and to about 60% of the people who are watching this, why have you not subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Um, get information for when I'm posting more videos and help me get to that top number which I'm after which will be brilliant so we've headed off and we've hit four stores four stores we've never hit before um, which are on the other side of Bolton so we've gone a little bit further we've gone towards Bolton kind of Manchester kind, kind of way um, to four TK Maxxes which we've never seen um, two of the stores were abysmal there was kind of a couple of candles and maybe some cushions and that was it we didn't bother recording the information the videos from there but the other two stores oh we got lots of cool stuff um check out the walk arounds um come back and i'll show you what we picked up there was quite a bit <laughs>
So every time we think that the stores are getting less stock in, they surprise us and they put more stock in. Um, we've spoken to different staff at different stores and what they've said is that there was containers of shipment of Halloween stuff that was meant to arrive last year and due to the worldwide pandemic, things didn't arrive so last year wasn't as wasn't the level that they wanted to this year is so much further stepped up which is awesome um and some of the stuff that we've picked up is great um there is less of the all year round homeware as i call it uh which is coming into the stores but more of kind of the kitchenware and the partyware if that makes sense so we picked up some of the kitchenware um i'll show you those bits first and then i'll show you the all round decorations, which we're uh, homeware decorations, whatever you want to call them, that we've managed to pick up. So first thing that we got um, is this amazing, we think it's gonna be a pasta jar. Uh, we're gonna try and find some Halloween pasta to fit in there. So hopefully some colorful pasta. And this is the same design that we got on the, um, the weighing scales. And we've seen it on a couple of other items as well. Price of this little thing was $6.99. And to go along with that, I'm going to have to make two separate piles so we don't get things mixed up. We also got the same design on a chopping board. And the chopping board was $6.99. And this is a nice big wooden chopping board. Um, designed really nice. It's kind of a painted inlay, which is on there as well. Um, they had these in lots of different designs with lots of different... Um, kind of fronts and different in different positions as well and also different shapes so there's more square and more round versions of the chopping boards as well to go along with the cooking kind of kitcheny kind of theme we managed to pick up an apron so pumpkins and cats so jen's apron um that she uses currently is just a boring plain plaid um apron so she went for something a bit more halloweeny the price of this 6.99 again everything seems to be seven quid today um i've got a a skeleton one which i've worn for years uh, so i'm sticking with that one for a little bit but yeah she wanted something so we picked that one up for her so we we think we're going to use the, these we don't know how big they're going to be but giant cookie cutters giant um, skull cookie cut cutter which is pretty awesome this little guy was $3.99 and to go along with him was a giant ghost and he was I believe the same price yep he was also $3.99 and then smaller a little bit more manageable a bat and boo as well in the cookie cutters and this is a little bit more this is $4.99 but we will use these oh there's a kitty cat as well so the bat the bat the cat and then boo underneath. Um, these, this size, we think we'll use. We think we'll make cookies. We might just go nuts and make some giant things with these as well. Um, and we have talked about possibly maybe doing some Halloween -y treat kind of videos and um, kind of party snacks and things. Um, I'll bake to chill out and calm down and things. So that might be something I might do one day. We'll 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 see. It's not a promise, but we'll see. Um, this year Jen's gone crazy for haunted houses and as well as haunted houses something that she's always had a thing for even though since she was a child was cruet sets her grandmother used to collect them and this year there was loads of cruet sets and she's got an idea to maybe make an area within the kitchen now to just put cruet sets and she didn't pick up one she picked up five different sets of cruets this year um, and that's to go along with possibly another three or four which she's already purchased this year but these are pretty cool. So three ninety nine. I'll we'll take the plastic off the front so we get a better view. Here's a mummy salt and pepper, and the difference on this is the pumpkin one's got more of an uprighty eyes. One's got more of a rounded eyes that are on there as well. But they're really cute. They're really they're ceramic. They're just cute and, and adorable and everything else that they're supposed to be, which is amazing. Um, there is also again $3.99 a set of black pumpkins which look like so they are they are identical in what they are except for the top of them they have got one has two holes and one has three I don't know which one's salt which one's pepper but I'm sure whoever uses them would be able to tell the difference Ours comes in a grind. I've never used cruet sets before. Uh, next was this kitty cat and witch set. And I'll get these ones out. So there is a witch's hat, which is nice and black. White polka dots on there. And there is a witch's hat, 
which has a little kitty cat on top of it again. And again, that one was three ninety nine for the set. Um, they were all made by the same company called Season. Um, and then the other two, which I'll show you now, which that won't go back in its box, um, are by BW, so Boston um, Houseware. So there's a black and white kind of Day of the Dead kind of sugar skull cats. And I will be able to open them somehow. Day of the Dead Cats, really like the little um, skeleton fish which is on the chest and that design goes all the way around with the flowers on the side and to mimic it it's the same pattern but in the reverse colours on the white set as well. So as I I'd assume white would be salt, black would be pepper maybe, perhaps. Um, and finally the last set of cruets which we've got, which I'll open up was a lot of noise. It was a really cute pumpkin. There we go, and the glare's gone off it. And another, because you can't go wrong with it, kitty cat. It's another black cat. So yeah, so that's another five crew sets to go with the collection. We will come up with something funky and cool and awesome to be able to display all of those together. So we've got four more things. Um, you know how obsessed we are with the Halloween plants and we thought we were done. We thought we had every plant that was ever feasibly imaginable. No, we were wrong. Ha ha, look at that, look at the teeth. It's brilliant. Um, so we've got one which is very similar to this. This little guy is 9 99 Yeah, you did two tags on it, 9 99 uh, We've got one similar to this with larger plants that are on there. This is kind of a uh, relief green kind of blasted on painted version that's on there. Um, we saw one of these in the store and it may, I can't even remember if it's in the video but I think Jen just ran in, grabbed it and then hugged it and walked around with it for a little bit. So yeah, this little guy will go with the rest of the ceramic plants. This is metal um, and a bit more sturdy, um, very lightweight um, but yeah, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Love the teeth on it, which is great. Um, and the big Audrey's which we've got. How, 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 do, they, how do they keep making more? How do they, that, yes, there's just, there's loads of them. There's hundreds of them. Um, really big, really big tongue. Big gnarly gnashes, which are on this, which is great. Uh, another one of the, looks like the older versions, the ones that last year, more of them had the eyeballs, which were on the pots as well. Um, and more of the breakout, which is going on. He was 12 99 and is pretty awesome and epic. And these are cool. Um, these are amazing for 12 99 But the last two things which we picked up were also 12 99 each. And I don't know how they've managed to keep the price down to that value. So these were originally released, if I'm right, in 2019. And we never saw them in the wild. We saw them online. We saw them on Facebook groups. We saw them on pages. And I believe one of them ended up on the TK Maxx website at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, and disappeared instantly the next morning when we looked it wasn't there and we were so lucky to actually find it in the store they're made by a company called candy corn lane and some of the pillows we've got and some of the other um kind of props and home decorations that we've got um are also made by the company and i just love the look of what they are so these are candy corn lane candy dishes it's a small dish in the front and a really awesomely giant cool decoration that comes with it um they have got names which are um, everyone's kind of nickname online and I can't remember them both. But yeah, as I said, they were twelve ninety nine. There's his price sticker. Twelve ninety nine. We we thought we were paying about twenty five quid for these, um, and yet yeah, we had to we had to pick them up. So to go with the giant mummy, there is also um, kind of my favourite one. To be fair, is the vampire. He's just his goofy little teeth, his little beady eyes, the frills on his shirt, the cape he's got at the back, everything about it. This is just adorable and amazing and cute. And we have put up an extra, let me count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've put an extra nine shelves up in this room alone and we've made space for these guys. Um, so they'll be going there. So they'll be looking over us at all times, um, right the way throughout the year. We're thinking we may put um, some 
kind of fairy lights or something actually inside the bowl to illuminate them from the way up or we may just put some battery operator candles inside of there um just to illuminate them and just make them a little bit more funky and cool but we couldn't we couldn't leave him on the shelf we couldn't leave him there he had to come home with us it's just brilliant it's just cool um so that's everything that we've got um i believe home bargains has started to get some stock in I have two items on order from TK Maxx. We have some things from Next, which we've ordered. So hopefully over the next couple of days, I will be able to pick those bits up. Um, I've, I've been, I've heard whispers and rumours that it looks like TK Maxx are going to stop getting Halloween uh, orders in in the next week or two. And they're going to be getting things in for that other holiday, which happens in December, which should never happen until after Bonfire Night. Um, but it looks like those things might be coming in soon, but the supermarkets and all of the other stores are starting to get stock in, which is awesome. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. If you've gone and done it during the video, you're amazing. Um, and until next time, as always, guys, you know the drill. Take care.